Polynomic Drive, Programming the Controller. So go into your control editor in LabVIEW, uh, configure any robot actions, doesn't matter how you set up the drive because we're going to delete that and then generate your code. So if you programmed actions, they'll be in the controller 2 portion and you can delete the code in the controller 1 portion because we're going to put our own drive code. And we need the X and Y values from the joystick, so you need to unbundle that information. Now if you haven't worked with a joystick before, you may want to display the information coming from the joystick so you can see what kind of X and Y values you're getting. Now working with the X and Y value before, I saw that they are I8s. And I8s only handle numbers from negative 128 to 127. So if I multiply them or add to them, they won't be large enough to hold the information. So I need to convert them into I32s. That's what those little I32 blocks do. Then you can hook up your controller and run the program and it's kind of difficult to see, but you can see the X and Y value returned when I move the joystick in certain directions. In case you couldn't see, these are the values that were being returned. So up would be 0, negative 127, to the right is 127, 0, down is 0, 127, and to the left it's negative 127, 0. Now this looks different than a normal coordinate plane. It has negative y values going up and positive y values going down, so it looks like it's been turned, and we're going to have to deal with that in our code. Now what do we do with this data? Let's say that the joystick is moved up and to the right. Well, that's going in a northeast kind of direction. And that direction is made up of an x value moving to the right and a y value moving north or moving up. Now the power of that is going to be the black arrow. And to figure out that power, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Our x and our y are the a and b. So we need to find how much the c is. So c is going to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Then we need to figure out the angle. If you are familiar with your trigonometry, you can see that we have the opposite and adjacent sides. So that is the tangent. And to go backwards, we need to use the arctangent or inverse tangent function to give us the angle from the x and y values. All right, so back in our program, delete the display code, keep the I32 conversions, and so we need to square both the x and the y as part of the Pythagorean theorem. Then we add those two squared values together. And then finally take the square root of it. That is going to be the power that we are going to feed the motors. Okay, now that we have the power, we need to find the angle. And the angle is going to be found using the arctan function in the trigonometry uh, menu. Wire up the x and the y. Now this arctan function returns the angle not in degrees, but in radians. So we need to convert that into degrees since we already had a holonomic drive VI that we made that takes degrees. To convert radians into degrees, we need to divide by pi. And then multiply by 180 degrees.
selected the eye to find our holonomic drive that we made in the previous video. And then let's give it our inputs, our degrees, our power. And then we need to create a couple motor constants and feed those into the VI. Wire the information for the front and back wheels and the side wheels into the H drive VI. Now there's one more thing that we haven't taken care of. Remember our joystick is giving information that's turned 90 degrees, so we need to turn the angle 90 degrees as well. To accomplish this, I'm going to add pi over 2, which is the same as 90 degrees to the radians. I also could just add 90 to the degrees. Now it's time to check it out, see if it works.